the things that was once an integral part of the fabric of life at Rice, um, many people don't even, don't even know that it ever existed. And that was the trolley. In 1910, when it first became clear to everyone in Houston that the Rice Institute was going to be built all this way out Main Street, the Houston Electric Company, uh, which ran the trolley system in much of Houston, uh, authorized a $75,000 addition to their system that would run out alongside of Main Street to the new Rice Institute. And for the early students and even early faculty at Rice, this uh, trolley line was the artery that brought them into contact with the rest of the city of Houston. And if you look back at some of the things, some of the artifacts and the, the written record, it's pretty clear that, that uh, this was not always uh, an easy or happy relationship. Um, it seems to have often been quite a long time in between trolley cars. It was very rural still out here, even into the 20s. And there were issues with livestock on the tracks. By the time it was the end of the 1920s, beginning of the 1930s, um, we didn't really have the need for a, a trolley anymore. People had cars, there'd been an explosion in automobile ownership. So sometime in the late 1920s, I'm not precisely sure when, they uh, ripped up the trolley tracks and that was the end of an era at the Rice Institute. One of the surprising things in this whole story is that after all these decades, we now have the Houston Metro Rail with a Rice stop. That's almost exactly where the Rice stop was, you know, in 1960. You know, if those kids who had to sit in that rickety shack in all kinds of weather could see these sleek Metro Rail cars, and sit in relative comfort, I and mean, it would blow their minds.